Hello. So in this episode, I'm going to be doing some work on the back cockpit area. I've got all the wood in now, so uh, it's time for a clean and get the wood cut. Okay, so first thing today, I've uh, checked the paint inside and it's still a bit tacky, so we'll leave that for a bit longer. I'll put the heater on a little bit more. Um, this door needs sanding, um, so I will do that, um, but I'll wait until the paint's a bit more dry inside before I do that. Uh, I have actually gone over the outside of this and giving it a sand and a bit of a clean up um, it's getting a little bit of water under the cover there we had lots of heavy rain last night um, the rest of it's reasonable um, so I think we're ready to put some wood into it so I'm going to start taking some measurements um, and then I'm going to be cutting some wood um, I've just received the windows this morning as well for inside and the rubbers um, so that'll be in an upcoming episode um, doing those once I found my window rubber tool um, yeah let's get on so let me just explain a bit about the floor so first of all I'm using 18 mil marine ply see that because um, it's a lot thicker uh, I'll probably demonstrate that a bit later um, so originally I was going to do one of these from that corner all the way along to that corner so it actually raises the floor up quite substantially um, but I've decided now I've gone and bought all the wood for it I've decided not to do that um, and now to actually lay it in the middle a bit like this piece here it's got sort of a groove here um, and what I was going to do was put some supports on this and raise the floor up and I think that's what I did on my other one and it worked fine um, but I don't think you need to here to be honest uh, I think it's probably better if I just use this this middle groove as it was intended um, and just put the Put the wood put a piece of wood in there so i'll have a piece like this which will be removable Just zoom out a bit yeah a piece like this that'll be removable and then the, there'll be a bit that goes in the back filling that area that'll actually be fixed because the fuel tank and battery and whatever will go on there and it'll be fixed down uh, but then it leaves this bit removable um, so at least you know if you need to get under the back few screws you can but then at least this bit you know you can lift it up and um, and get into the bilge if you need to um, I'll, I'm toying with the idea of putting a bilge pump there I, I'd like to um, but it's just getting one to fit at that profile so um, we'll see see what happens with that but yeah I think doing it that way is the best so it's time to go and rip some wood Just when I'm doing this, I'm just putting a little bit of an angle on because the where it sits in, it's a bit of a slope. So when I cut them, I'm just going to put a little bit of an angle in. So I've made them just a bit bigger than what I want at the moment. So I'm going to take a bit off that side.
So there's the first part of the new floor. So I've tidied up and fitted this back one, uh, the back piece, so that's in solidly now. Uh, so this front piece, uh, I need to tidy the edges a bit on it. Um, I've sanded, I had to reduce it a little bit on this side to fit under the, it's got a, a sort of a sill there to fit under that slightly. Um, tidy the edges and then we should be good and I will start to paint the floor area.
So that's it for today. We've done the cockpit floor. We've just started painting some of the cockpit and we'll hopefully carry on um, a bit more of that next time. Thanks for watching.